this is a transistor, an in-channel MOSFET. Um, let's see what the part number is. It's an FQP1920N. That's what kind of part this is. I'm going to teach you today how to check a transistor to see if it's bad. Okay, here's the easy way. This isn't the thorough way, but the easy way to check. You would take your transistor and you would touch the probes to legs one and two on your meter to see what your resistance is. And you would do it like so. And I'm sorry you can't see the meter. Anyway, you would get, I get OL on my meter, mega ohms range. That's good. And then you would do legs two and three. And you would get the same reading that way. And that, that means it's probably good, but you want to be thorough. So what we'll do is we go to this website and I'll have to show you here in a minute this page and I'll show you how the meter reads when I touch the legs okay but then you can reverse your polarities and do it again check and then I get an OL again and do it again and I get now I get 3.077 mega ohms that's a good sign then once you do all these little moves then you need to check check it with the diode rating right now I'm in the ohms setting and then you check it with diode check and that's how you do it it's pretty neat and simple and there's a website you can go to with a chart that teaches you how to check a transistor the proper way to find out if it's bad and I'll show you that shortly but Here's the, the way you would go. You would check. We're going to turn this sideways. Okay, first you would check legs one and two with a probe on the red probe on the left. And you would go like wham. Okay, I get OL. Then you would check with the red probe on the left and then leg three. And you get OL. Okay. Then swap your leads over. Do the black one on the left leg and the red one on the center leg and I get a well that's another good sign then you would go you would keep your le your your lead swapped and then you would go leg one and three same way and you get a well then you would turn them around put the red leg on the center the black leg on the right and you get a well then swap them back around put the black leg on the center as long as you're not shorting it then your red one on the right and I get 3.067 mega ohms well in the ohms setting it checks good now we want to check it on the diode checking so We want to check it on diode setting. So then we would go through the same steps again. And this would tell you if you have to have two good junctions. You would do that, then that. Okay. Swap them around. And then you would do that, then that. Okay. So far, nothing. And then you would do this and this nothing and you turn them around and hit these two like this and nothing and then you would do this and this and I get 0 0.748 volts that's one good junction more than likely it's good because it is an in-channel MOSFET. So there you have it. That's how you check a diode. Um, I'll be back with, I'll add some more to this video or there'll be some more to this video here in a moment and I'll show you the little applet page that I do. Well I can show you now. Anyway this is the applet page that I go to that I check it with. 
and if you want to see the website it's www.bcae1.com that's basic car audio and electronics website it's pretty good and it has an applet shows you how shows you how to check transistors simple enough bye bye